What's up, everybody? It's Sam at Jamma here. I'm going to go over three swing trades that we're watching and waiting and going to look at targets, etc. A lot of these we do have starter positions in. All three we have approach trim areas. So what's next um, on all three of these charts? One we have not taken entry yet on. That is Celsius. And then we have Disney as well as Verizon, which we are recently opened and... Let's check these chart outs. First, we have Disney. I'm not sure what's on this chart right now. <laughs> so, okay, we can see it right here. Lowering volume, lowering liquidity zone. Clearly, we can see in this area here, and this was our entry point. Um, we're starting to try to break it. We did take it yesterday on that break. We hit about 25% this morning, but we're having a little bit of a, a problem pushing through. Um, so we have to be very careful with this one and we really do want to be careful with how we approach this. I am on the weekly chart right now and as you can see, we have broken through the two-year point of control and bounced last week right here. That's major. So that's my immediate stop loss level on something longer term is the loss of that level, especially like a January type contract where you're going out at least two, three months. Let's go to a daily and check out what we're looking at on this. So as you can see here on the daily, uh, once we once we break over that $98 level, we do have some nice gaps. So we have gaps here. We had a nice strong move here, a strong move here, and then a strong move here. So I do expect us to be able to get into the $100 zone relatively easily at the break and the hold of $97. That's really what we're looking at here. We need to retain and re-break that 95. That's pretty major here. And that's what we want to see because the one thing I'm a little bit apprehensive about is this. We don't want this to turn into a shoulder. So that's the biggest thing we do want to watch for right here. So we're neutral here. We need to reclaim 96. We have a clear stop loss. We have a clear take profit. We've already trimmed at 25% on the short-term trades. And those, I would not let go much further red. This is our target zone. This is our stop loss zone. Um, and then a break and a hold of 103. We should shoot from 103 through 109 very, very quickly. So that's what we're looking at on Disney. And then on... I don't want Zoom, I want Verizon. And then on Verizon, oh, SoFi, I'm sorry. SoFi is the one that we want. All right, so on SoFi, what's next? We're at the 1025, major, 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 major level here. SoFi 1025, we're all in this. We're up 75% on 2026 contracts uh 2025 january contracts were up a couple hundred percent we have short term we have shares i have it all but for all those people that slept on sofa and ignored the 83 times i talked about it over the last few weeks when do we get in the trade amy and i'll tell you when right now first of all you should have heavily cut here we are at a major level this level is right here from opening week low, opening day low, excuse me. We are at opening day low level right now, okay? 1010 is that level. And this level was major resistance way back in March 2022, right here. And it was major resistance here. Yes, we got a weekly candle break above it back in July 2023. Yes, I see that. And it was major resistance here. So that means a lot. That means if we this week we can hold 2025. I expect us to pretty easily come up to the 1170 level. So that's a nice short little trade there. So what I'm looking at here is if we can hold 1025, I'm gonna lower this down. This should be a 1025. We're a little high on this. If we could hold 1025, okay? 
on the weekly, on Friday power hour, if we hold 1025, I would like a six week out contract, which has a fantastic risk reward because our, our, our take profit level is going to be here. which is a beautiful take profit level. Because that's a good 13% on the equity from where our entry would be. All right, so you could even split that in half. And what else is great about that entry is your stop loss is going to be a daily open and close below 1025. So say at, at most we hit down at a $10 area, which is a $2, 2% dump. So if this is our stop loss, all right, and then this is our take profit, let's ha hammer out our risk reward bars. And we take that entry at like, even up here, let's say at like 1040, we wait till Friday. All right. Look at that. What is that? A one to four risk reward right there? And that's on like the eighth chance play. I mean, we've been in this play in one way or another for millions of years. Let's be real. So that's what we're looking at on SoFi. All right. We've got insane risk reward there. And then what happens next is where I get real excited. We break that 1160 level. We have nothing in our way to 1309. And then after that, all the way up to the 1450 level. So these are the two major support resistance levels and we're approaching into it. So really... I like a mix. You get your short term. So our mix would be between the two major levels. Because this this wick isn't a major level. This is the major level way up here. This is the midpoint. So that's a take profit point. But this is why I like a mix. Because then you get the weekly close open and close below 1025. You do your mix contracts, okay? For our two, you go out. At least, let's say here, what's the, what did it take to get through this area last time? How many weeks? Here we bounced. We had one, two, three, four weeks. Here on the way down, we had one, two, three, four days. Sorry, days. And in here, it was a little bit chopped. It only took the last few times we were in the 1025 to $13 level. It only took days into two weeks to blast through there. That's crazy. Let's triple that instead of double that. So let's say we go out. I would say we want to go out. I would do the 2026s because if we pull back and we look here, let's pull pull up SoFi and the 2026 contracts, all right? For all you small accounts to say you can't afford leaps. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Right here. Buck 50. Look at this insane volume today. 2,100 contracts sold today. How many puts? We had decent put, but that's because people expect the pullback. You can't afford that. You're a liar. Go a little further out. Go into the 17s then and get two. You want to get at least two so you can trim. If you can't afford two, don't take the play. Period. So let's go back to our trading view. So you could go 2026. You could even go June 2025, I think, is long enough and save yourself some money. So let's see, you do June 2025. Look at look at this volume. I'm, nope, that's the January again. Sorry. Here's our June 2025. Look at the volume on these. We got the 15, 75 cents. And we would expect those to be pretty much in the money. All right. Hey. Sorry, guys. Get out of here. Put it out. I'm sorry, everybody watching this video. My dogs are assholes. All right. So G even if you do June, because you know there's no chance of you holding that long. All right. So back to trading view. Look at the risk reward on this trade. Even if we sell half here. So that would make our risk reward bar here because we will sell half at the midpoint. 
That's your risk reward bar there. That's one to five, one to six. That means you could take this trade and take a loss. Okay, you can lose this trade four times and on the fifth time win and green overall. So if this contract isn't, if this chart isn't one that you look at every single day until we get the weekly close above tiny 25, I can't hoard, hand you anything easier than this. Truly not, cannot. So there's our SoFi chart. Here's Celsius. So Celsius is interesting as well. We are obviously uh, had sold off a lot here. Let me get rid of that view, this and get rid of this here. Um, we are above a long-term point of control. We sold we sold off of it, which is huge. My dog has a squeaky bug. Knock it. I, mean, I cannot get away from her. She keeps running away from me. And I'm sure you guys can hear that. All right. So anyway, um, this is really what I'm looking at. Safest entry is going to be at the break of 36. I'm trying not to jump into it too fast here. trying to be patient that's the reality of it um but we do have a little bit of a wedge going on so it's got me looking twice even for a little shorter term trade if we put on the hourly we've got a nice little wedge going on here let me get rid of the volume profile so i'm interested even in a short term play but in a long term play weekly break and hold of 36 i will be adding I will be adding six plus months out on Celsius, period. That's all that needs to be said. It's a major level. We held the point of control, long-term point of control, and we're starting to break back up. This is a, And this is a major long-term level here. Finally found that ball. All right, no more squeaking. As you can see right here, major, major long-term level. I could even extend this out to 2022. And you're like, Amy, what about the wicks? What about the wicks? The wicks are 15, 18% above our entry. I don't give a shit about this wick. If you keep waiting for wicks to take entries, rip. Don't swing trade. Because that wick right there is going to be our take profit one. That wick right there is like 8% above our entry. So that's our first take profit right there. Anyway, so that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that $36 break on Celsius. Once we get that, I might open a small position now and add at the break of 36, full disclosure, if the volume looks right. So I'm going at least on this. This will be a mixed trade. So I'll do January 2025. Oh, we've got some beautiful volume coming in on this. Look at the volume on the puts. Look at the volume on the calls. Guys, I think I'm getting some 40s today. This volume really looks like it's going to be breaking quickly. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. All right, so that's the January volume. Let me check a couple more just to make sure. No volume. Oh, here we go. These, yeah, we have nice volume in November, too. It's a little close. And because this one sold off so deep, I really do kind of want to get an investment contract, too. I might get one or two of the January 2026 right here and put a little money into it, honestly. It'll be a mix play. I might take a starter on January 2025s today. FYI. I will post it in the Discord when they do that. Um, so that's what we're looking at. Those are three three plays ready to pay. And I'm just going to remind you guys, Robin Hood, which is the one we talked about last week. Yes, it's pulling back today. But this is our daily. If you would have took even the January contracts. Let's look here. All right, so even we took them on the retest. So if we took those contracts at the break and hold here, 
of 25 on our retest day. So we would have taken them, let's get a little even more intricate so we could see the exact price. So we would have taken them early in the day on October 9th. So we would have taken them October 9th at 10 a, let's say 10 a.m. Let's just check where they hit today. And I'm talking about January. We'll go even to January. And let's look at these. Let's look at the hourly. Let's find that October 9th, 2024, first hour of the day. Right here. So we would have taken them right about here, say about $1.60. Y'all would have hit 100% on these. Even at the low end, 250. I don't know if this was a freak sell or not. So I'm going to ignore this. I'm going to go to this bar here. Even if you freaked out and didn't sell when it hit 325. Even if you hit in this area to here for a trim. And at the lowest end of that. Let's go to lower end of that, 240. $1.65 to 240. Okay. 80 cents on a $1.60 contract. 50% on a January 2025, 50% on a January 2025 in six days. Waiting, waiting, let's go back, waiting for the retest. So the, the most high safety play, waiting for the retest right there. Oh, sorry, wrong candle. So not bad. Anyway, so that I have crazy, insane dogs behind me. Oliver is being a madman right now, so I got to break this off. So those are three swing trades that, A, we're waiting for second, third, fourth, eighth chances because this one truly is like an eighth chance opportunity on SoFi. Um, Disney is one. We're, we're kind of waiting for the breakout. I do believe that we get some nice liquidity from 95 through a hundred dollars. You can see on this weekly, it really shoots through this range pretty nicely. Once it chooses direction Celsius, I'm going to take a nibble. I love the volume. We're getting big boy orders coming in and I'm a double down at the break of 36. We have a clear stop loss on that one. And then finally hood is is just in it's we're on the weekly we're officially in this look at what it did on the way down just saying and that's all the way up to $33 from 25 to $33 $8 that's a 30% move guys and you're sitting on the sidelines why all right. Love you guys. Bye.